Hi, it's Richard Anderson, merchandiser for Kohler and Drum here in Minneapolis. It's been a while since we talked. We missed Valentine's Day, but let's move on. I took a little different approach this season with my displays. I wanted to get dual purpose or dual seasons out of them. So kind of a thrust of home decor and then bring in the floral aspect. This is a perfect example of that. Um, this started out to be more of your summer wedding display. Really stuck with the whites, the creams, and the apple green with a variety of metals. But this could also be a really lovely summer garden party with Prosecco, a little sandwiches, and just something really fun for summer. So then you'll see we really brought in a lot of our home decor pieces out this year with the larger um, vases and urns and lanterns, and then sprinkled in our decor. Really created a beautiful canopy up above with the rice paper lanterns. As you can see, a repeat motif here with the moon with a little table and chairs in the middle of it. And then we'll go around the other side and you can see where we've continued with the moon. Right here, we have another moon that we've done a large floral arrangement on the side of it. And then with all the wisteria and hydrangeas dripping down, a lot of pieces that will move forward that are not just for, you know, spring. These could also be great uh, votive holders as well. And I, can, I think you can see how this could either be a wedding or a summer garden party. Just crisp colors, really fun, really fresh. Then we're gonna move over here into what I'm calling another collection that's sort of summer. Spring into summer, it has a deep woods feeling with our tortoise and our frogs and just the color palette. This great candelier that holds votive candles and a floral arrangement, whatever you'd like to hang on the side of it. Found those in our back room. So everything in here has got that deep woods feeling of the dark moss. You know, I always love my little garden animals to give a little little um, whimsy to the displays. And now this again can go from spring with our grape hyacinths in the summer by bringing out more thistle and grasses. We have these great branches with the butterflies, two colors of those. Some great home decor again with these lamps. This can actually be um, just this as a nightlight or all of it lit together. Garden fairies, so you can totally see that sort of mossy, deep woods look to it. We've got the great canoe bookshelf and the great canoe coffee table. <coughs> then we're gonna go into here again. This is Mother's Day, but Mother's Day light. Again, I started with home decor pieces and vases and whatnot and our butterflies and then brought in things that so when you look for Mother's Day, maybe you don't want to get her something that says mother on it. You want to get her something that she could get more opportunities to use, like these great lady head vases. Um, some great home decor urns with a little, like a big perfume bottle. And then of course, yes, we went into some more traditional Mother's Day pieces as well with plant mom and whatnot. So it's just Mother's Day lights, things that move forward all season. We go into this. This is, I wanted to bring from our potty room all of our really cool sort of mid-century modern pottery, uh, very contemporary. This is definitely a certain clientele who really loves that clean lines. We've got some things with maybe more, a little bit more tribal motifs. Um, as down here, you can see a little bit more of the, maybe a little bit more of a Native American motif to it, which I just think are lovely. That's actually a set of three. So this whole display speaks to a particular customer. He or she is more modern, uh, more, a little more urban, and definitely likes that mid-century modern sort of feel. And by using the color palette, it keeps driving you around and around. Easy to change out as pottery sells out, easy to bring into summer and fall. Again, we're getting legs out of our displays. Legs. And again, speaking to Mother's Day or the gardener in your life. This is all about a garden shed or a potting shed with our birds. Right now we've given it spring. This will go into summer and again into fall. We can walk around this display. And you can just see how we brought it through to carry you around. And again, definitely going more into summer on this side. 
going into our whimsy display. This one was a lot of fun for us. It's all about super bright colors, spring into summer. We have this great umbrellas at a great price. These little galoshes are actually watertight for fresh flowers. I think they're adorable, which really inspired us to bring all of our fun insects out. Think pixel movies with the little characters. People are loving them, different sizes. This one's a little potty, a little pot in the ladybug or the bumblebee. Everything in here is whimsical, right down to polka dot daisies. Uh, tell a whole story. We're gonna go around the back side of that in a minute. We can talk more about it. We also have these floral buckets for your cooler that play off the whimsy and everything is in pop colors. Then we go into our more country. Can't have garden without a country country option as well. These light up in various colors. Aren't those pretty? Really good price point on those as well. Um, pigs and strawberries. Again, this will go from summer into fall so easy. And that's just great for the retailer to know how to re-merchandise and not have to take everything down. As you can see up here, we have these great swings. I have the porch hound dog on the swing with strawberries and milk cartons. Really had a lot of fun with this. All about your summer flowers and berries. We can come around this and see it's really, we have the old school bicycle planter in here. I think these are adorable. Anybody of a certain age will remember the rooster on the cornflakes box. <laughs> it looks just like it. Um, more of our buckets. We have this great artwork, really nice uh, poultry birds. These are great for lemons or creating like your lemon water or something like that. And again, peppers and your summer flowers. The other side of our whimsy continues with more bumblebees, picks. These cute little picks here that are like the bumblebee and the honeysuckle, or I'm so what do you call it? The honeycombs, um, the birds, all whimsy. The rubber ducky goes with the galoshes and the umbrellas so well. Um, great garden into Mother's Day. Um, fun little things. Can't keep my plants to myself. We were meant to be just really cute. Butterfly picks. And then we have the old school, uh, what do you call it? Not, not really windmill, but I guess a... Uh, Wind chime. Whims, yeah, something. Wh whimsy windy things. <laughs> Um, then we're going to go into, I want to do a line that was a little bit more masculine. Father's Day light. Uh, graduation is also coming up. If you have someone in your family that's really into sports, this could be great for graduation or Father's Day. Um, or, of course, it's something we also like to talk about, celebration of life. If someone in your life has passed away and they are really into sports or fishermen stuff, we have these fishing poles. The great cowboy boots, which I actually think are beautiful. These will be great for fall. We have everything at the state fair comes on a stick. Well, we got fish on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy. Um, these are all made out of recycled tires. I love them. They come in many different sizes. They're great planter um, or just something to put household items in. Um, this is a great spring greenhouse to start your seedlings and it actually comes with a black liner about this deep to fill with soil that we didn't put out because um, it wasn't as attractive with it in. These are actually uh, vases or planters as well that look like a bolt and screw. Super cute for Father's Day. Super cute for your young father or your graduate in the rugby shirts and a great gift when the flowers pass. We'll walk around this because there's more fun things that I found. For the fishermen, your rainbow trout. Again, fish on a stick for in your planters. Um, and you can just, here you can see how the planter looks. I just think they're really clever. So this all tends to have a more masculine appeal to it. And birdhouses hanging on our birch links. We're still about three to four weeks out from Easter. So I wanted to show you the really fun Easter things we have. We also came upon a purchase that we were able to make where we have clearance items. We brought a taste of it out front to show people how adorable it is. 
Now, I'm really not at liberty to talk about price, but let me just tell you, this would be less than a cheeseburger at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> A lot, of the, a lot of these things are from our clearance, so you'll have to come in for the price points, and then a, a lot of the, this stuff is not clearance, but we're going to walk all the way around, take a look at some of the fun things. These, I think, are clever, and they're from our clearance room. They are blown glass eggs that have been hand-painted. I just think they're absolutely stunning, and the price points shocking is all i can say <laughs> and then we come around here again just really fun whimsical easter stuff these eggs that i talked about last year we have them in tons of colors tons of sizes some of them open so you can put battery operated fairy lights in them or i talked about putting these especially some of the darker ones if you come back here this way These could just go in, like we talked about this last year, in your summer planters with low growing flowers and vines around it. Sort of like the gazing ball thing, but why not an egg? And we have a lot of them. Again, they open up, put fairy lights inside, super pretty on your patio all summer long. And we have a lot of them, and again, super, super inexpensive because they're on clearance. Look at this. Talk about easy Easter decor. Pillows beautiful Easter pillows. I can show you this. Three for ten dollars. All different shapes and sizes, hand beading. And to go with your pillows. And just like that, we're back. We found the runners. Also, three for ten dollars. And I want to show you how adorable they are. Come on. Isn't that great for your Easter table? Three for ten dollars. That is like giving them away. So that's a tease, and look at this. Come on, so cute. A lot of people don't know about this back room. At Christmas time, I show them. You're gonna go into the greenhouse where we have live plants. You're gonna look for this sign. You know, follow me. Here is a taste of what we have in our clearance. And we're looking at wonderful little plaques for a dollar a piece. Um, glassware sets. I don't remember all the prices. Again, oops, I'm not really supposed to talk about that, but I gave you a tease. Hand towels. A lot of this stuff is sold in multiples. Um, bundle prices, we like to call it. So you need to call in, you're with your sales member, really come in and look. Melamine and ceramic dishes. Look at these mixing bowls. You can't find this anywhere at these prices. Now, if you think that's all we have, follow me, please. This is our green new room where you'll find all of our foliage, succulents, and vines. And then you're going to go through this magical door that says exit. This is where all season long you're going to find overstock and clearance holiday decor, which a lot of people don't know about. Which come September, you'll see. And then we begin. Napkin rings. Eggs for egg trees cookie cutters, more pillows. Everyone loves the hedgehog bunny. Um, ceramics, cake plates. Again, glassware sets already packed for an Easter gift. What a great hostess gift. Um, hello for your Prosecco, a, a wine cooler or ice bucket. Dishes galore. The most funky and fun Easter baskets. This would even be a, be a cute waste paper basket in your daughter's bedroom or something, a little unicorn. Um, more hand towels. Lots and lots and lots of hand towels. Home decor for Easter. Just wonderful things. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And here is all of our plaques and stretch canvases. I can't even begin to show them all. God loves his peeps. <laughs> I know, right? Corny and cute. Um, again, can't discuss prices, but I'm telling you, we're giving this stuff away. The more it goes, gift box. This is a uh, holiday, Noel. Great gift box, battery operated signs. So please come in. Oh, I wanted to show you the dolls. Dozens. 
dozens and dozens of these bunny dolls. I can't imagine any little girl or little boy wouldn't be thrilled to receive one of these bunny dolls. I know I would have loved this one when I was a little boy. Maybe I still do. <laughs> um, unicorns. Hi, lady. Oh, you can just hang there. We have the unicorn dolls. I mean, cheap little ones. They're all weighted beanbag bottoms, so they sit nicely. And bunny ears, bunny ears. Come on in. I'm telling you, you'll be shocked. Just shocked. So cute. Looks kind of vintage. So thanks for thanks for stopping in. Uh, we look forward to seeing you here. You come to the back room, um, spend some time, and happy spring. Thanks. Bye.